I'm Chris and I'm allergic to peanuts and tree nuts, which are some of the most common food allergies. Some other major food allergies are eggs, milk, wheat, soy, fin fish, and shellfish. A lot of people don't understand food allergies, so we made a video to show you what it's like. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm new here. Why are you sitting alone? Do you want a cookie? No thanks, I'm allergic to nuts. Oh, so you have a food allergy? What's it like? Most of the time it's no big deal, but sometimes it can be frustrating. What do you mean? Well, sometimes people get annoyed because they have to do things differently because of my food allergies, but it's not my fault I'm allergic to nuts. I just don't want to have a reaction. Yeah, having a reaction is horrible. The last time I had a reaction, my face swelled up, I couldn't breathe, and my mom had to give me epinephrine. I spent the entire day in the hospital. Hi, I'm Dr. Ruchi Gupta. About two kids in every classroom have a food allergy, and many of them experience severe reactions like the one just described. What do you do when that happens? You said something about the epifriend or something? <laughs> it's called epinephrine. This is what I needed last time I had a reaction. <sighs> yeah, it can actually be really serious. I still remember my first reaction. It happened because of cross contact, and uh, I had to use my epinephrine right away. Cross contact, what's that? Cross contact is when a peanut or something else you're allergic to touches something you eat, but you don't know it's there. Cross contact can also happen when people use the same ice cream scooper to scoop different ice cream flavors. Yeah, cross contact can happen with a lot of stuff. Here, try these on and see things from our perspective. Really? Yeah, take a look. Whoa, my cookies look crazy. And so is that peanut butter sandwich over there. Hey, why do your guys' food look normal and the others don't? That's because my lunch is nut free. So is mine. Those cookies must have come into contact with nuts at some point. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here, let me get something to clean that up. Thanks. Since magic glasses don't exist in real life, identifying safe foods isn't always easy for kids with food allergy. That's why it's so important to read labels and double check ingredients. I really appreciate it. Sure, is there anything else I can do to help? Well, even though we're pretty careful and know how to use epinephrine, it's great when friends look out for us and know what a reaction looks like and what to do if we ever have one. If you think a classmate is having an allergic reaction, follow these three steps. First, get help. Tell an adult or call 911. Second, stay with your friend and watch for any symptoms. And third, help in giving any medications like epinephrine if needed. Hi, I'm Ashley and I'm allergic to eggs. Happy birthday, dear Neil. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Yeah. Mm, those look pretty good. Hey, Ms. Powers, Ashley is allergic to eggs. Can she have one? Oh, I'm okay. I have some leftover dessert in my lunchbox. Are you sure? I think we can check. Yeah, I have an allergy too. Do you know if there are any nuts in them? These are all really good questions. I don't know if you guys know this, but I talk to your parents and caregivers at the beginning of the year and let them know what allergies we have here. I can assure you that there are no nuts or eggs in these cupcakes, but I want you to know that I do take allergies pretty seriously, and I'm glad you're asking these questions and supporting your friends. Honestly, if you want to help kids with food allergies, the best thing to do is realize that we're just like everybody else. We don't want to be left out or tell other people what to do. Yeah, sometimes kids make fun of us because we have allergies, so it can be hard to talk about. So next time you're bringing food for a party, to try and think about other people with food allergies and bring something that everyone can eat. Guys, um, I checked all the ingredients in my lunch and I know for sure that there are no nuts. Can I sit with you? Some common symptoms include hives, swelling, trouble breathing, vomiting, and dizziness. If you think a classmate is having an allergic reaction, follow these three steps. First, get help. Tell an adult or call 911. 
Second, stay with your friend and watch for any symptoms. And third, help in giving any medications like epinephrine if needed.